Well, Kevin, I guess just the overall thoughts and the way you, everything went. Uh, well, for spring game, you know, to divide the team up, to have enough depth, there's a lot of, like, like, to me, little understories because, you know, we had a couple guys playing slightly, maybe helping each team out and rotate the quarterbacks because we hadn't had any separation through spring. And, but to be too deep in O-line or D-line or secondary running back and have some quality players. Um, you know, I think, for example, DeWeese Wilson's had a great spring. And because of that, Cody Latimer's pick 11 because the other team says, well, it's one or the other. And I, I don't think that's a drop-off. I like DeWeese. So there were some picks, you know, because when one team picked one team, another team got another start depth was a lot going through spring. We stayed healthy through spring. You know, we lose Hubler and, and Cooper to minor foot gigs. You know, uh, uh, they'll be clear. I mean, Hubler or uh, Cooper was practicing this week. It's not full go. Next week, he'll be going. So he misses work, which you don't like, but you come out healthy. Murphy's close to getting back. So to come out spring and to come out today, healthy was good. Um, to get some game situations, good. We'll learn from that. But then to have some fun, because we had went five weeks. We spread it out before spring break, take a break, Easter break, take a break. They're lifting in between practices. So it's been a grind. And for them to have energy, enthusiasm, and to wrap it up with a lot of fun was good. So we've made some strides. Long way to go, but it's, it's been a, it was a nice conclusion. I think it's been a good spring. Jane Wynn seems to have had a, a nice spring and kind of concluded with some nice plays today. Yeah, I mean, but they all, I mean, and, and again, you go back to, though, you know, you saw uh, Isaiah Roundtree. And Ricky Jones didn't flash, but he's been pretty good. So a little competition too, and that's kind of nice. So you know, as you have, as you have that, it's a, it's a happening in running back. It's happening with Cody. And I mean, when you have more competition, and that's where we're a few bodies short defensively to stay a little as fresh as you want, and to increase the competition. And with some of those, hopefully those signings getting here, that'll really help. So, but Shane's been good. He's a very, I mean, he's a dynamic player. He was second in the league receiving yards, and we don't think he's had a good year yet. So we'd like to really see it. Keep coming. So, one of my favorite kids on our team. What, Loves to play. What uh, I mean, just kind of what jumps off the page about the quarterbacks all three of them today. Well, it's, again, it's a little. You know, you, you're kind of it's a tough deal because I think they've all been pretty good. It's 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 our problem in in how to keep developing them and how to stay in rhythm and all that deal. So protection got a little bit better on the one team early. A couple protection breaks down that, that ended a drive. Uh, the cream team came out with a little bit more efficiency, a little bit more flow. The crimson team didn't get credit to the, the, the other defense, the cream <coughs> defense, for making some sacks and getting them in some long yardages. But for the most part, one team had some trouble going. The other thing, we played today very vanilla on both sides. Some very static, standard blitzes, very base fronts, very base formations, very standard plays. Because we opened the season with game one and game two, where we're the opening team. So trust me, this thing on BTN that everybody says it's good for Indiana, you don't want to show a lot to your opponent because they get a free scout report. We will not see the Indiana State in the Navy spring game because I don't believe the Navy's on TV. I don't think Indiana State is. So that being said, there's a little coyness in the cards that you played today. So we went out in a very static day trying to just be generic so you can move some things. And again, we really, the quarterbacks were dead, so if you got close to him, he was down. You take that quarterback run threat out, really affects Trey. But they enjoy it like them all, and we'll see how we go through the summer. Love to see somebody separate. No one's been bad. We'll see how they separate as we go through the summer. Can you talk about how Trey has come back from that injury? I think good. Again, never had any issues as far as one workout in the very first winter workout being running, lifting, or any practicing. They didn't want him to get tackled and physically hit, but we don't tackle the quarterback in the spring. And so with that, he's, he's gained weight. <laughs> He was 183 when he got hurt. He got down to 167. He was 2 2 and 1 last week. So he's put on, he's getting stronger. That'll help him both running and passing. And, uh, so he's in, in good accord. And he's got good competition because Seven has a lot of talent. Nate is a young guy. And Cam is a very crafty, good fellow. I mean, we have three quarterbacks, I think, that, that hopefully they've not proven they can win a lot. But I think we have three quarterbacks we can win with. We'll see if we can do that in the fall. Coach. With the full spring underneath here, Val, what strides to the defense take and what more do you want to see out of that group over the summer? Uh, I'd like to see, so again, it's, it's not fair for how we practice with depth. So, so I'd like to see their, their, their stamina and ability to get off the field, get off blocks, get stops. Um, I'd like to see us you know, just have a little bit maybe more quote unquote the word swagger as a defensive unit. I think your offense has a lot more confidence. I think defensively, you know, when they make a play on you, they, okay, they're going to make a play. There's a lot of grass, a lot of field. There's a, there's a lot of players, and that happens. We'll come back and get the next play, get them off schedule. 
hold them to the field, but we'll get them to a punt. And so I'd like to see us respond better defensively. And again, we'll do a tremendous study of spring evaluating what we've done, who we're doing it with. We'll make some ads this summer, and we got to have a great preseason with the defense. The and offense. Our offense is pretty good, not close to being real good yet. Were you encouraged to see the flows interception by the end, toward the end? Of the Very good, because that game could have got a hand there. And uh, you know, again, we, we've had we've had some. I mean, one, there was one day I think we had four. I mean, we've had some days. One day, Greg he even had three picks. I think our next to last on Tuesday we had four interceptions defensively. We've worked on hawking the ball, or, you know, you know, driving on the ball every time it's on the ground. I like to see us cause some more fumbles. You really, and sometimes that comes with plays on the quarterback, and you can never make that play. Because he's always closer down, so you can't get, get that kind of hit to get back packed. And, and even sometimes, too, some of those plays, and they're going to do a greater job protecting above the head hits. We even tell our guys, you know, when that quarterback lays a guy out, you know, we're not going to blow it. He's my teammate. I want to hit him and hit him hard. But, you know, there's, you know, there's a thing called the, you know, the clip zone where in the line you can go low. Hey, we don't want to go low on my guy. That's still our guy. And even though i got to make that reach block, it's not the game and the enemy. It's my buddy over there, too, and I want to win, but it's still, still our team. So when you play, your hands are a little tight behind your back, no matter what position you're playing, and it's practice. And today, again, we ended a good spring, and we're still 0-0, and we're a work in progress, and we're working, and we're progressing. What's That's your message, what we're what's your message to the team now as you're heading into the summer? Big week this week. A lot of things going around here this week. And if we win, we win 24-7. And we continue to grow and take care of ourselves. And We'll do a couple team building exercises this week. Our coaches will get with our players on exactly where we feel you are. What is your plan for May? Because we give our guys, we finish, we have two weeks exams, four weeks in May, we give them off. Then they come back and really crank it up in, in June for summer school, which we'll have the whole team here. We have 96 guys practicing today or, or, or on our team. We've got 20 signees coming in. We're adding some quality walk-ons that aren't here. But yet we've got 105 for preseason. So we've built some depth. It's exciting to work with. But the real deal would be having a good week off the field as a winning football team. And then coaches communicating next week, these are your strengths and weaknesses so that May, June, and July individually we gain and we build that team chemistry. And we've had two good chapters, fall, spring. Now we're going chapter three, third quarter. And then it's preseason and we tee it up. So Two, two halves done or two quarters, I wouldn't repeat one like what we've done. Now it's halftime. We've got to come out of the gate. We'll take this break. We've got to come out and have a great June and July. Hey, Kevin, on, on Trey, just to get real quick, is his speed back to where it was because that's such a big part of his game? I, you know, I think, but at the same time, I'd say with that too, maybe stamina speed. Does he fatigue and what's his strength level? So he's back lifting and doing everything. But, again, he had, you know, pushing three months of, of inactivity with it. Right. So the – Atrophy that sits in and all that. I mean, what you know? How strong is that? Is that deal? To, you know, so to me, uh, he'll be a lot better. I mean, I think he's he looks reasonably fast. I don't think he's quite full. To, whether it be physical or mental, but I think again now you go May, June, July, and August. You know, we're we're we're, we're, we're four months out the pool. We're four months and two weeks for playing a game. So he's got a lot of time to get it going. So he's close. You had Nate Sotfeld run a little bit today. Is that something he's being more aggressive? With? Well, we worked a lot above he and Cam. One scrimmage, I, bet, I, would, I would say two scrimmages ago, Cam probably had about 40 yards of offense running the ball. So we're trying to make those two guys play left-handed as runners, and we're trying to make Trey be a left-handed guy, and you can't run. Sit in the pocket, make reads, and make throws. Because to, 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 to be a complete offense, when Trey got hurt, we lost a really good running threat. But with only two quarterbacks and young, we didn't do any – Keep him honest, quarterback run game. And when you don't have a fullback that you're playing a lot or dominating tight ends, that quarterback's got to be a little bit of a factor. As we move forward, I think we'll throw the ball a lot better, and I think you'll see the quarterback you know, being a little bit more involved in the offensive package. Coach, how do you think Jukari Alexander looked out there today? Good, but he's in some competition. I mean, on paper, sometimes he's three right now with Funderburg. Uh, I'm trying to remember who our other cat is at that position. <clears throat> Jordan Wallace. That's before Clyde Newton and Chris Smith come in. So he's in a mix with two or three. Uh, the last week, Stephen Funberg moved to one on the depth chart. And if you didn't notice, number two is pretty good, the high school kid. Not Cam, but, but TJ. And, and he's, he's pretty good with Coop being out. The, what that's done is it's given him more reps, which will be a blessing. Uh, with, with not having enough D linemen here, 
Heiderman and Ralph Green got a spring and a half because they get tired, but those are more plays. And I've been in springs where I didn't have a lot of depth, but when I came back in the fall with injured guys healthy and freshmen showing up, those guys that got gutted in the spring were significantly better because they got a boatload of work. <clears throat> so it's difficult when you're in the midst of it, but when you get through it, it's a very good blessing in the end. What have the, the extra snaps done for Simmons? I mean, where, where has he grown maybe because he's gotten that extra work this spring? Well, again, like as a high, he's a high school kid. I mean, you know, there's guys going to prom next week that where he, he ought to be. And he's up there today, and he's the most dominant linebacker getting guys lined up. Call me line, guys, he's up there telling you, hey, you're over here to, to the D line, getting those guys lined up. Uh, very physical, very assertive. Uh, he has a chance to be a good quality player. And, and that'll help David Cooper as we move through. Because competition is what we're building. And we're not great yet, but we're getting guys. And again, maybe some of those ones aren't good enough. But there's some twos that are pretty good on the back, so I like that. Coach, going back to Trey, when you say that he was able to benefit from seeing the games in the press box alongside the coaches last season? Well, he got a ton of work. Now, he works at it. He, he'll spend more time on his own coming up, just sitting on his own watching tape with us. So he studied and worked at it a lot, and they'll need to. You know, I'd be interested next week. We'll get into back to eight hours of work and what we do, how much they want to do on their own. Because there'll be a lot of guys wanting to go to frat parties around here next week. But the guy that's going to be the starting quarterback will probably be up on his own watching tape. That'll be his little party. Because if we're, we're not going to be a good team if one of those quarterbacks doesn't play great. Because for us to be good, those guys need to play at a, at a high level. And so it'll be interesting. But I think it's helped Trey. But those other guys were playing, and it's helped them. So it's uh, good. To, a lot of work to do, guys, but we're getting on. One Coach, more question. Coach, um, obviously the local guys who come down here, the guys who signed, come in this fall, the Indianapolis kids. How nice is it to get, like, Chris Smith, Clyde Newton, I think Miles Graham came up, for just for a couple of days just to kind of see him and kind of show him what you guys are doing in uh, spring ball? Real good. Again, you're limited, like, you know, with what they can't they, like, they even send meetings. You know, for what it's worth, but they get a chance to see your drills, your body, your vibe, your body language, and to me, like I told a couple of those guys today, they have April and May. We'll have June and July with Coach Hill, but you're talking a couple of backers. Coach Inge gets 29 practices; he gets one month. They've got a month and a half pushing two. Coach Hill's got two months. We get less than one month to get them right. So the more those guys do, it's like saving money. The higher they come in, the more Coach Hill will do. The better they show up for us the better the coaches will do. It's been a good spring. Appreciate you being here.